Hey y'all, KTB Saucy here, coming to you live from my bedroom this evening. Why may you ask such an intimate setting? Well, I'll tell you, because my kids are entirely too loud for me to be able to do this in the kitchen right now. So, here we are. <laughs> so, if it's your first time to my channel, welcome, welcome. If you've been following me, you know this week we're sampling Maestro's Sauce Co. Yesterday, we sampled their green sauce, Mo Honey Mo Poblanos. And that was an amazing sauce. If you're the type of person that's looking for something really hot that's gonna melt your face and burn your butt, Maestro's I don't believe is for you. However, if you've got that Southern piece inside of you like I do, you're just looking for the right sauce to accentuate your dish. So I've said it before and I'll say it again, Southern people love their sauces. We will burn a steak in a heartbeat and pour ketchup all over that bad boy, A1 sauce, uh, red eye gravy, sausage gravy, flour gravy, you name it. It's just what we do. It's what we love. And for the most part, that's what I really love about maestros. That's sort of what sets them aside and apart from everybody else. They're not trying to burn you alive. They're trying to make your food taste better. And these sauces so far from what I sampled yesterday with the Mo Honey Mo Poblanos, they're really on the right track. So I wanted to show you the Mo Honey Mo Poblanos one more time. Check out that color. Now, I opened this bottle yesterday <laughs> and it's absolutely delicious. You see how much is gone at this point. This is amazing. There's also Curry Fury, which I'm so excited about. I'm saving it to last to try and uh, practice my patience and self-control. I mean, I'm, I'm 34 years old and I, I haven't mastered that yet, but I'm trying to with this one. But tonight, what we shall be sampling is the roasted ghosted garlic. Now, the thing that I love the most about these guys, not only the fact that they stand outside of the rest and they're really unique and they put a lot of passion behind their sauces, but one thing that I love the most, and I've said before and I'll say again, look at the colors. Look at the color of these sauces. This is unreal. And they taste just as delicious as they look. Well, at least from what I've sampled so far. So yeah, this one, absolutely delicious. Um, and I'll be honest with you real quick. I have been sampling sauces on a spoon. I pull out a metal spoon, pour it on, eat it, give you the review. My amazingly, incredibly beautiful daughter, River, uh, sampled a sauce yesterday and said, Mom, you know what we should do? And I was like, oh, do tell my daughter, what is that? She said, you know, we need to sample these sauces on the spoon. And then instead of doing all of our chicken wings on Friday night, we should do wing night Wednesday, take all the sauces that you review, cook all of our chicken wings in it, and then share that cooked review with everybody that's interested in the sauces. And I was like, young Padawan, that's a brilliant idea. So while Mo Honey Mo Poblanos tastes one thing on a metal spoon, it's gonna taste a whole nother thing on some chicken wings or cooked. So. I'm just giving you a little soft opening right now that on Wednesday, we're gonna try and do a Facebook Live with the family um, where we all sample these sauces because these are family friendly sauces. Um, so you get an idea of what we all think of them on our food. It's gonna be pretty cool. So check it out. Out of the mouth of babes. My youngin is pretty incredible. But tonight, I'm gonna have to go for my, my redneck spoon again. We're gonna have to sample roasted ghosted garlic. So without further ado, and tonight I, <laughs> I prepared for this video by cutting the seal because I have uh, many times in the past forgotten to do that. Oh, doggone it, did I? Oh, no, I'm, I'm carrying appropriately. Here we just, just, ah, there we go. All right, oh, what? I can already smell it. Oh, what do we have going on here? Wait a minute, let me read the ingredients a savory medium heat sauce that showcases roasted garlic, the smokiness of Fresno peppers, shallots, red bell peppers, and a touch of ghost pepper for an added kick with its deep intricate profile. I love the word intricate. Roasted ghosted garlic pairs well with pizza, pasta, and chicken amongst a variety of other dishes. Now the cool thing about maestros that I really like a lot it's a team, Maestro's is backed by a team of four guys. All of these guys have worked in the restaurant industry. All four of these guys work very closely hand in hand 
to bring you all of the flavors and sauces that we have today. The ingredients, distilled vinegar, garlic, Fresno peppers, water, shallots, bell peppers, olive oil, lemon juice, sea salt, spices, ghost peppers. That's awesome. I love that it has oil in it. I think I have a crush on sauces that have oil in them and it does say the separation is normal and you need to shake. All right, let's go in here. Let's do this, let's do this. I'm done, I'm done stalling. Let's try it. Oh my, oh my, oh, oh. It's smoky. Smoky right out the gate, definitely. That is definitely roasted. Smells mild. And just like the sauce that I tried last night, Mo Honey Mo Poblanos, it smells like a fresh garden. <laughs> These guys are really good, y'all. For real, for real. Oh my. All right. I'm not gonna sit here and chit chat any longer. I gotta go ahead and try it. I could waste time all day just talking. All right, I will judge you by your pour. Oh, why aren't we happening? Do I need to shake you more? Why are you being finicky with me? <laughs> oh, there we go. All right. All right. Oh, nope. Still not. This is a little bit thicker. This is thicker than Mo Honey Mo Poblanos. That's not a bad thing at all. Doggone it. All right, y'all. I was trying really hard to get that to go away, but I think I'm just gonna have to embrace that. We're going in. It's happening. Yeah. Ah, yay. Okay, so once I got past that, <laughs> it pours pretty evenly and smooth. Has a beautiful color and a really roasty texture and flavor. All right, let's do this. Spicy. Whew. Can totally taste that ghost. Whew. Oh, but I like it. I like the way it burns. Oh, it's good. Not for the faint of heart. Not for the faint of heart. Oh my goodness gracious alive. <gasps> Ooh, excuse me. Flavor's amazing. Bit spicy. Not gonna lie. That one's way spicier than the last one. More honey, more mocha blanos. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's going to kill somebody. But it's spicy. You know, honestly, I would put this on popcorn in a heartbeat. I'm going to tell you a mama hack. This is, uh, this is my mama log mama hack. I love popcorn. And whenever I pop popcorn, there are two things I love the most about popcorn. One, it's super cheap. And whenever my kids are like just wanting to eat me out of house and home or they invite their friends over and their friends want to eat me out of house and home, I got popcorn. Popcorn is super cheap. It's cheap if it comes in a bag and you pop it in an air popper, you pop it on the stove, comes in a bag, whatever. But problem is whenever I feed my kids and all their friends popcorn, when I myself pop a bag for me, they immediately think that they can dive into it and take it from me. Unless. I put hot sauce all over it. And this bad boy right here, this mama jamma would be good on some popcorn for sure. Super spicy. I know there's mo honey, mo poblanos. My kids could dive into it very easily. I know that this roasted ghosted pepper, my goodness gracious. True to Maestro Sauce Co's uh, profile so far, there's just layers. There's so many layers to the taste of these sauces. There's a flavor that's gonna pop you right in the face. Yesterday it was honey, today it's heat. I got that ghost pepper immediately. But then I can taste the roastedness and I can taste the garlic and it's really good. Now, I'm someone that can handle the heat. If you're not someone that can handle the heat, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this to you, at least not off of a spoon. Again, we're gonna be cooking dishes on Wednesday per my daughter's request and see how these things, how these sauces taste on food. That bad boy's hot. <laughs> That's hot. It's really good. Ah, this is 
awesome. This is so much fun. This is really cool. When you can have a sauce that is super duper spicy, and then as soon as the heat goes away, you still have delicious flavor and taste. That's what sauce is about. Now, I wrote a blog post this morning, and it was like pretty near and dear to my heart where I sort of started talking about Southern culture and like Southern life growing up here in South Carolina. And seriously, we could have the cheapest dish ever. Come straight up out the ground, knock the dirt off of it, put it in your mouth. Whether you like it or not, you better eat it. But if you don't like it, we'll cover it in something. Ketchup, sauces. Sauces are awesome and amazing. I love them very much. These sauces are something special. So thank you for joining me. Roasted ghosted garlic, a little spicy, ghost pepper in there. Can definitely taste it. But I like the oil in it too. It makes it smooth. Oh, I love these sauces. I love these guys. These are really special. <laughs> really, really special. If uh, you're interested in purchasing your own from Maestro Sauce Co., go to their website, www.maestrosauceco.com. Uh, there they have all of their shopping information, and they also have a really cool deal going on right now for Father's Day, so go check that out. But yeah, all in all, super spicy, gave me the hiccups. The only other thing that's given me the hiccups so far is uh, gator. So really spicy, not going to lie to you, but absolutely delicious, and I have to tell you the truth on that. So very spicy, very garlicky. I like it very much. <laughs> so uh, thank you all so much for tuning in with me. Um, if you're interested in more, please check back with me tomorrow or check me out on www.livinginreal.com. If you're one of those people that likes to read your reviews or read your news, I will take, all, I, I take all of my, uh, my reviews of hot sauces and type them up and post them there too, because I just think that, you know, good sauce deserves really good reviews. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Sorry it's so late, uh, but we did it anyway. So God bless y'all. You take care.